real quick, what, what's your biggest problem? Well, I, I don't know if I necessarily have a problem. I just want to get to the next tier. What's so, your What's your hold up? But, what's holding you back? So I think I did like 51 transactions. I need to do I need to do 100. And then my, my goal is to obviously increase price point. Okay, I think. So, uh, but I, I want to look at that whole sweet spot idea. I thought, my, yeah. I thought to myself, Jesus, if I, I just that four hundred bucks I just spent was totally worth it because I needed this is something I needed to break down on the MLS. Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. Like uh, with this, you actually pick and choose what what you want to do, what properties you want to sell, who you want to be your clients, and you approach them with a low pressure approach. You know. Um, yeah. Now I think the hundred deals a year thing. I think next year or this year you might do seventy or eighty, or you might do a hundred and twenty. Right. Exactly. So, so I think I think the thing is is don't don't have the hundred in your mind because that's the next step. But but don't be discouraged if you don't hit a hundred this year. You know, like use the goal to motivate yourself to push as hard as you can, and then let the results kind of fall where they fall, and be happy with the results because you gave it all you had. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you shoot for a hundred. You get 80. That's great. Yeah, well, a lot of people shoot for 100 and they get 80 and they're upset. Now, I was one of those people. I, I got really, truly upset because the year I made 600000 the first time, I wanted to make a million the next year. So I put together this plan and I said, I'm going to do this, this, and this and make this many calls and do this and I'm going to hit a million. So January, February rolled around and it looked like I was still on track to hit 600 again. And I started to get really upset. Like, I just, I, I, it was killing me. I was just kind of like, not depressed, but just like dying for what I'm doing wrong. And so I went on this really self-evaluation journey. I hired a coach. I read more books. I did, I did more research. And what I came up with is that like there's a place where you can be like satisfied with where you are, but still hungry. You know what I'm saying? And like and like goals are made to motivate you to give it everything you got, not necessarily hit. Because if you make a goal for a hundred and you give it everything you got, shit, you might do one twenty. You know? Well, that's what happened to me last year, dude. I just set the goal for one fifty, did three sixty two, and I'm like, Okay, I gotta I gotta set the higher goal here. Right, right. So, you know, and, and, and then and then when I wanted to hit that million that next year yeah. I made I made six twenty that next year. Okay? Jesus. And and then the next year I did seven fifty. All right. And then the next year, which was last year, I did one point one. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. But it took me several years, you know, to get there past where I wanted to be, you know? So it's Yeah, but if somebody would have told you four years ago, hey, in four years you'll be able to make this on this year, you'd have been like, heck yeah, I'm on, I'm on board. Exactly, exactly. So <laughs> this year I'm going for 1.5 and, you know, maybe I go, maybe I hit 1.3 or maybe I hit 1.8, I don't know, but I'm using it to, to, to motivate myself to just give it everything I got, you know? I love it. Yeah. So I'm going to jump I'm going to jump in here, man. Good talking to you. Just this yeah. is my cell phone. Just put me in and call me anytime. Okay, brother. All right, buddy. Uh, thank you again for your time. I'll talk yes, sir. To you. Bye -bye. See you, buddy.